Corliff. And with the two minutes I have again, I, I, you know, I just probably, like everybody else, you know, we're in a situation of, you know, coming here every time, you know, why, why, why? It's the carers this evening, home help yesterday evening. There seems to be this ongoing situation of these things that should be happening, these improvements that should be happening are not happening. And as has already been pointed out, you know, carers are saving the state billions. Uh, people who are carers should not have to go down this road. We're saving the state money, and one in ten people has already been stated to provide care for a loved one. Fianna Fáil were involved initially with uh, bringing in the carers' allowance, carers' benefit, respite grant, of course, which is now the, the carers' support grant. And there were changes made by Fianna Fáil in the social welfare system, so halfway at carers' allowance could be paid. You know, all these things were done, and probably in times when things weren't as good. And while we don't acknowledge there are strains on the finances, and with Brexit we don't know what's going to happen, the reality is we must look after people in this situation, and we must be able to support them at, at, at all avenues. They are saving the state a, a lot of expense, they're saving the state a lot of, a, a lot of um, you know, work that would have to be taken up otherwise by the state. I think one thing should be, uh, you know, realised in relation to carers nowadays. Many years ago, the doctor called out to houses to look after older people and advise about them. And that has disappeared out of Irish society. And that's the way things go. So that's all the more reasons that more supports should be brought in for our carers and more training for carers and more assistance for carers and further change the social welfare system so that we make it easy for carers to take up these jobs and do them. So again, like everybody else, Minister, we want these changes to take place and Deputy Penrose referred to that case, which actually those people are from my own parish and you're right, they're from my own parish, I know them very, very well. And you made your case very passionately here. And I can tell you their daughter was extremely stressed after being asked for evaluation of their house in England, coming home to look after her parents. And the same happened with another lady in her own parish. We had enormous difficulty being asked questions about her, taking her sister now out of England when she realised she had Alzheimer's to take her home. She was put through the mill in terms of trying to get home care assistance for her. Thank you. John